was Jesus based on the Hindu god Krishna. Techno. Many mysticists think Jesus never existed and was just a legend stolen from the story of Krishna. Mm. Because Krishna was born of a virgin on December 25th. His birth was signaled by a star in the east Ew. and attended by... Hold on now, hold on now, let's go back a little bit. I, I thought I knew that Krishna was a dude, but, you know, if we look at this picture right here, this picture got some really feminine features right here. Outside now, like I'm looking in, I can see, you know, the chest out, you know what I'm saying, the, the chest right there, but the face, the face is definitely given, I don't season my food type Karen face, you know what I'm saying? That's what the face is given. The face is given trying way too hard for the makeup, trying way too hard to look like a baby doll, probably got some like weird fetish type face, you feel what I'm saying? So that threw me off. I ain't going to front. I'm not going to hold you. My bad, y'all, for stopping this. But that just, because, again, I knew in my head that Krishna was a dude, but the face just threw me off, man. That That's that's like, you know, if you ain't never really seen Prince before, you ain't really knew who Prince was, and you just see him, like, from the neck up, you'd be like, oh, man, what is that? But, you know, all right, let's get back into it. Krishna, you know, ain't no way, ain't no way you're going to be able to compare to Jesus. Because Krishna was born of a virgin on December 25th. His birth was signaled by a star in the east and attended by angels and shepherds and presented with spices. He was persecuted by a tyrant who slaughtered thousands of infants. He is depicted with a foot on a serpent. He was a miracle worker. He taught through parables. He argued with the Hindu priests and called them hypocrites. He had a beloved disciple whose name translated to John. He was killed at the age of 30, rose from the dead, and ascended to heaven. Whoa. It is said he will return to earth on a white horse to kill an evil prince. He was crucified on a tree between two thieves. He was said to be the lion of the tribe of Saki. Ooh. And he was the second person of the Hindu Trimutri. So do we have proof Jesus was a mythic copy of the god Krishna? Well, for that to be true, some of these claims would have to be factually correct. But many of them are false or total distortions. Ooh, First, here. Krishna was not born on December 25th. All evidence shows he was born in the summer, and he was not born of a virgin. His mother had seven children prior to Krishna. Now, let's go back. Let's go back and look at this baby. Why does this baby got all that baby powder on it? Come on now. Y'all really about to put that baby in the oven. That's what it looks like. Y'all just put him in, season them up, and y'all about to put that baby in the oven. What's going on, man? What in the world is going on? What's up with this little baby right here? I don't know if y'all can see the curse marker, but I'm pointing at the bottom right under August. That little baby got seasoned too. What, they just going to throw him in the oven? This is nonsense, making sugar cookie babies. That's ridiculous. He was born in the summer, and he was not born of a virgin. His mother had seven children prior to Krishna. And Krishna was just said to have been conceived without sexual intercourse. There is no evidence of a star signaling his birth. There were Hindu angels at his birth, but not shepherds. They were cowherds. And no spices, just flowers divinely given from heaven. Because they put all the spices on him. These next two are actually true. He was said to be persecuted by a tyrant who slaughtered infants, and he is depicted on a serpent. But Jesus is not depicted this way in the New Testament, nor do early Christians present him like this. Mm. This came about later from Christians, but it doesn't even parallel to Krishna, who is actually dancing on the head of a serpent with a thousand heads in order to defeat it. Nothing like this ever happens in the Bible. Krishna was a miracle worker, but all deities are said to be, so this is too general to form any parallel. The next one is partially true. Krishna did teach, but not through parables. Mm. So generally, just being a teacher is also a way too general to make any type of parallel. It is also true Krishna did attack the Hindu priests for focusing too much on rituals. However, this next one is completely false. There is no evidence of a linguistic connection between these two names. Mm. John is just the English word for the name Yohanan and has no connection to India. Oh, Krishna was not killed around the age of 30, he lived to be well over a hundred. It is also false Krishna rose from the dead. Mm. After he died, his spirit just ascended into heaven. So right now, what I'm realizing is that, okay, so we did Horus already. I don't know if this one's going to come out before or after Horus, but we did Horus, right? And that one had zero parallels. This one, at least they're getting closer. They're getting closer. But I would like to see what they say when they get to it anyway about the crucifixion. Because if I'm not mistaken... Depending on what iteration, because I'm pretty sure there's probably different iterations of Krishna. Pretty sure there's not just one Krishna story. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I'm not saying I know at this point. But typically when it comes to all these deities, there's usually more stories that just than just the one, you know. So but I want to see if the, the 
the crucifixion thing is true because again the crucifixion didn't happen or wasn't created until you know even years after isaiah's depiction of the crucifixion in isaiah 53 so i would like to see that because that would be very interesting but i off rip before he even gets there don't think that that's going to be one that's very similar at all especially since he's saying that he lived to this particular age so but come on ip let's get back into it by the way shout out to inspiring philosophy for this video which is not a physical resurrection like what happened to christ it is a distortion of the myth to say krishna is supposed to return on a white horse a future incarnation of him is supposed to ride a white horse and kill all evildoers which is similar to a view of how christ will return but this view of Christ is only one view in Christian eschatology. I myself am a post-millennialist and do not think Jesus is supposed to return for battle, but will return once the Great Commission has succeeded and live with us in the new paradise created on earth. There is no evidence Krishna was crucified on a tree between two thieves, no evidence he was said to be the line of the tribe of Saki, I knew it. and he was not called the second person of the Hindu Trimutri. He was one of the ten avatars of Vishnu which is more modalistic than anything. Mm. So some of these claims are false, but the parallels that are actually true have no power either, since Hindu scholars say Hindus were borrowing from Christian sources. Some scholars oh, wow. believe that, except for the name, the Krishna cycle of stories has borrowed extensively from Christian sources, Ooh. especially in relation to the birth, childhood, and divinity of Jesus. The great Orientalist, Sir William Jones, held that the Spurious Gospels, which abounded in the first years of Christianity, found their way to India. So they stealing from us? That's crazy, man. Everybody loves to say that Christianity to be the one stealing, but no, nah, I really be the people that y'all try to say that we're stealing from. What's going on now? What's going on? Now, I knew there were certain stories that stole from Christianity. Like, I knew that that was the case because, you know, again, with the different iterations of the story, some come out later and some are attested to hundreds and hundreds of years after even christianity but are just different versions of a version that was already created way back when so the fact that it's coming out and that the truth is showing up that now nah, they kind of really just stole from christianity bruh and this is why i love inspiring philosophy because he does amazing work with breaking down the truths of the matter now granted don't get me wrong there could be a left turn coming up where he could still say that some of them were still original but until we get to there i'm rolling with they stole it all. And were known to the Hindus. According to others, Krishna's victory over Kaliya is a travested version of Christ's victory over Satan, the mm. serpent. The German writer Weber held that Krishnaism was indebted to Christianity on the grounds that the worship of Krishna as the sole deity was a post-Christian phase in Hinduism. Ooh, in the legend of his birth and the celebration of his birthdays, the honor paid to his mother, Davika, and his life as a herdsman all showed Christian influence. Mm. Summing up all the data, Hopkins says, considering how late are these Krishna legends in India, there can be no doubt that the Hindus borrowed the tales, but not in name. Dr. Edwin Bryant says these stories of Krishna that are similar to Christianity can only be dated as early as between the 4th and 6th century, with another scholar suggesting they may be as early as the 2nd century, which is still too late to say the Gospels were a copy of them. So in reality, there is some borrowing, but scholarship suggests it happened the other way around, which would make sense Uno since many of these car. stories about Krishna come from tales that postdate Jesus. So since that is the case, there is no evidence Jesus was just a myth based on Krishna. Jesus always wins, baby. Oh man, that was a breakdown of the nonsense of people that try to say Jesus stole from all these other religions like Horus and like Krishna and like Mithras and all these other people. So. I love what I do. I love bringing these videos to people who may not have seen and to all the people in the comments that love to say, oh, no, Christianity is not original. Bam, it's right there. And the beautiful thing is Mike Jones Inspiring Philosophy puts the source material so you can check it out if you don't believe in it. You can go check it out. Don't always pay attention to them Reddit posts, Twitter, Facebook. Nah, go to the actual Scholastic sources. That being said, this is Mini Boy Scripture Plug Albert. I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out.